The United Nations Security Council is set to visit South Sudan this week. It comes against the backdrop of a decision to send a regional protection force to the country to help with peacekeeping efforts. The United Nations has warned President Salva Kiir's government that if it does not accept the deployment, the country may face an arms embargo. Our Washington correspondent Harry Hewton has more. Well, the United Nations Security Council will arrive in South Sudan this week with a, a pretty clear message for President Salva Kiir, and that is accept a new regional UN protection force or face an arms embargo. And now that was the proposal adopted by the UN Security Council at the beginning of August. That gave a one-month deadline to the Kiir government to accept this new UN protection force that hasn't happened yet. Uh, this 4,000 strong force was supposed to uh, enhance the UN peacekeeping mission in South Sudan. The United Nations has faced some criticism for not doing enough to protect civilians in the country, particularly uh, women and girls who faced uh, some pretty extreme violence in the country. Now, the Kiir government have very strong reservations uh, about the deployment of this uh, UN Protection Force. They want more discussions to take place. They say they want those discussions to happen in Juba and not in New York. Uh, they may well get those discussions, but they might not be on the terms that they were hoping for. They're more likely to be on the terms of the United Nations. Uh, now, the United States has been pretty clear in its view on this matter. They say that they want to see uh, a, a UN peacekeeping mission, more uh, United Nations uh, protection forces in South Sudan. The United States hoping, uh, or the United Nations hoping rather, that their approach of putting pressure on the Kiir government uh, will pay off and go some way uh, to help stop some of the violence we've seen in South Sudan since July.